What's up Wichita? I'm here with Gabe Shively. We are at Wave and we're talking music. Ready? Go! All right, thanks for tuning in. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. I'll put a link in the comments to Live Local. Thank you for watching. So I'm here with Gabe Shively. Gabe, what is up? Uh, dude, I'm just trying to share positivity and share good music with people. That's kind of my thing. That's his thing. So share with me right now. I know we're just coming out of quarantine and all this stuff. Yep. But, but what is coming up in the music industry, in the music scene? Uh, nationally and especially in Wichita? So the music industry, I feel personally, has been pretty slow lately. And uh, so I'm hoping that we'll see a lot of pickup here with the end of quarantine, uh, people start pushing out more music, but some, some up and coming artists, not up and coming artists, uh, artists to look for are um, the 1975, Orville Peck, um, I'm trying to think who else has put out killer new music that I've just really enjoyed this. There's been a, there's been a lot that's come out this year. Uh, the big question right now for all of us in the music community is, when do we get concerts back? Right, when do we get to sit or stand in a mosh pit and get beat up by each other? When can I hit people? Yeah, <laughs> when is it okay to fight pleasantly in a mosh pit when you're watching, say, Korn or Metallica yep. or somebody like that? You know, Foo Fighters got canceled. Mm -hmm. I mean, hopefully these shows get, you know. My big one I'm holding on to right now is My Chemical Romance. Okay, and they are playing when and where? In Dallas at the end of September. I don't have high expectations for it to not be postponed, but I'm counting on it. It's the only one I have left. We're hanging on. So Chemical Romance, if you see this, hang on to that show. Yeah, <laughs> it would be greatly appreciated. Well, I did see uh, recently for Wichita, was it the Backstreet Boys? They got postponed. They got postponed, they got postponed but postponed. I think they already have released their uh, like September date. Yes, I believe so yeah. for 2021. So I know there's a couple of people that watch this channel that are huge Backstreet fans. So Twin Lifton, you know I'm talking to you. I'm excited <laughs> for you. I won't be there, but I'm glad uh, you, you won't get catch to go me see, there either. I'm glad you get to go see the Backstreet Boys. So I met this young man through church. Uh, but I also found him on Instagram and he has a huge Instagram following because it's all about music and positivity. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much my, my whole thing is let's get new music out and I, I, I love a wide variety of music. I, I definitely gravitate more towards punk, metal, emo style stuff. But, yes, so do I, uh, as you know. I'm a massive fan of those, but I dabble in. A little, I get a little yeehaw sometimes, go a little country here and there, not too crazy. But I, throwing a little pop, even occasionally I'll get into the hip hop and uh, I'm open to so many kinds of music. But the other thing which you touched on, uh, positivity and positive mental health are massive on my heart. Uh, it's something that I've had to work through and learn for myself on how to handle and really learn to love myself. And so if I can push some of the tools that I've learned and the things that I've used to get to uh, my current mental health state and my next mental health state um, that I'm always trying to improve. If I can help other people through that or just encourage somebody, uh, that, that's something massively important. I don't feel that it gets done quite as much as it should. I would agree, yeah. Man, that's awesome. And look, I'm just looking across the street and there is a sign that says, hey. think positive, be positive. And that couldn't be in a better place for this interview right now. Right, and that, that's, that's a massive thing is, you know, we can get knocked down every single day of our life, but uh, I've, I've found a major key and I try to do this at least once a week with people in my life is to um, do 10 things we're thankful for every week. Start the week off that way and when you get down, you, you stop, you say, okay, but I have these things to be thankful for. And it, it can boost your mood, it can really shift your atmosphere and it's, it, it can take you from a negative state to a positive state really fast. That's, that's really good info. And I would, if, if you're in a bad state right now, I would just challenge you to do that right now. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, Gabe, where can people find you on the interweb? So my only real plug is my Instagram. It's at Gabe Shively. And uh, my, my main feed is mostly just film photography um, with the occasional life thing here and there. But my story is where you'll find a lot of my music things and my positivity 
rants and spiels, as I like to call them. They're very fun. They're very fun to listen to and watch. He, he does a great job doing it. What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope you guys are having a killer Friday. It's almost the weekend for a lot of you. It is the weekend for me. I'm so glad I made it to the weekend. Uh, hey, real quick, I just wanted to talk about self-love. Um, self-love is a very important thing to me, and I think it should be important to everybody. Uh, it's something that I've had to learn how to do and work on, and I continue to work on. But yeah, I like to keep things light over there. I like to keep life light, not take things too seriously, and just really take the small moments and enjoy them, and just hope to share that with other people. So Gabe, you are local. How long have you been in Wichita? I have lived in Wichita for 24 years. 24 Took a brief years. stint out there to go to West Virginia for a few months, but had home came calling. Other than that, local Wichita music enthusiast here. Guys, check him out on Instagram. Uh, I'll leave all the links to that down in the comments below or in the description, so check that out. So WAVE, I, Gabe, tell me what WAVE is doing about Save Our Stages or something. So yeah, there's an organization called Save Our Stages right yeah. now. It's for independent small venues. And as a music fan who goes to a lot of small shows at venues that hold maybe 300 people um, or somewhere like WAVE that holds, I don't remember their capacity. 3,000? I think, I think their uh, outdoor is 3,000. These, these venues are at risk right now with the pandemic and stuff. They're not getting funding. Right. And so Save Our Stages, you can go to their website and sign the petition to get letters out to Congress and stuff to save these venues that are so important in the music industry because Absolutely. every band that you've ever listened to started in a small venue. All right, Gabe, well, thanks for coming on the channel. For sure, man, Appreciate thanks for having me. It's always good to have a local Wichita person, especially somebody with uh, just the knowledge that you bring about music. It's so fun to listen to watch to you. I've, I've found so much fun. more good music to listen to from this guy right here. So check him out. As always, I'm Troy. And I'm Gabe. And we're reminding you to live local. We'll see you next time. Bam. I'm a little late to the game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I've never listened to Ghost Inside before. I'm sorry. <laughs>